I am here on the SDK rooftop on an amazing day with the American authors. So excited to be here. Thank you. This might be the best day of my life. Ooh. Ooh. Ching. I get it. Has anyone ever said that to you before? No, surprisingly no. not. You're the first. So thank you for bringing that joke thank into our lives. Thank you for lying to me. Uh, but today, we're going to be talking about how to live like a true rock star. What do you eat? What do you drink? How much do you drink before a show? So we can all live our rock wow. star Wow. It really depends. It depends how crazy you want to get. I mean, we tr we try to keep it pretty cool before shows. Before you know? shows. But afterwards, it's it's just free reign. Yeah, it doesn't you matter afterwards. And are there certain types of things that you think are like great fuel for before you perform? Like, are you like, okay, every night I need to have a hamburger, or like every no. night I need a salad? See, okay, like, yeah, know? I was gonna say it's definitely not a hamburger. Like, we try to eat light before, like a good salad. It's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A salad before a show. You gotta stay yeah, light. You don't want to be. Do. You don't want to weigh down. You know, you want you don't want to be weighed down. Like. There will be some nights where, you know, if it's like a special occasion, and like you go out and you have a crazy ribeye or something beforehand, and then you get to the show. Oh yeah. my it, god! You're playing a show and everything crazy. is just like, oh god, get me off the stage. So to live like a rock star, we need to eat salad. Before you need to, shows. Yeah. Okay. After shows, you can eat All steaks. Right. So what do we do to live like a rock star in the irresponsible hours? Because salad, I think, will make people feel sad. That, yeah. That's yeah. The no, we always try to find like a a pretty darn good restaurant. Um, go for steaks. We go for burgers. <laughs> we go for whatever. What it comes down to though is, wait. So you at least go through what like at least a a, a six pack a night? <laughs> at least. <laughs> I think for us the main thing about. Our lifestyle is just really taking advantage of the moment, making the most out of it. True rock star life is not, you don't count how many drinks you drink, you don't worry about what you eat, you just live in the moment. Where do you like to go when you're at home in Brooklyn? Like, what are your favorite spots to eat? Favorite spots to eat, um, there's a place called Northeast Kingdom, it's like a farm to table restaurant. Um, there's another one called Faro, it's incredible. See, I'm yeah, a big like Mexican food guy. Yeah. Mesacoyacan is amazing in Williamsburg, but if you're down in South Brooklyn where I live, there's a place called Chevela's which is some of the best Mexican I've ever had. So it's like, I'm a Mexican food fiend. And you know, I gotta say too, <clears throat> cocktail bars are great, but I like to party. Dive bars. And for a party, there's only one place that has the key to my heart, Union Pool. Oh, yeah. Union Pool <laughs> is my you. spot. I mean, it's the only place just to get weird on a Key. On, a, on a any night of the week. Key to your heart and the key to a hangover the next morning. And you guys are going to make us some drinks. You actually know what you're doing. Are yes. You ready to make some drinks? Kinda. Absolutely. We kind of know what we're doing. You you ready? More so than me, but you we're ready. ready for a whiskey smash? I'm ready. Let's do it. Now we're back at the bar at STK Rooftop, and you guys have made some cocktails. What are your favorite cocktails? Because you're actually pretty expert. I was impressed. We're decent. <laughs> We're decent. You know, living in New York City and trying to play music and whatnot, right. you gotta do a lot of odd jobs, so we spent a lot of years bartending. Yeah. So Matt Matt right here, he's got whiskey smash. This will make anyone like whiskey. I'm not even kidding. It's like lemon, mint, and whiskey. It's delicious. And refreshing whiskey. And Super you've refreshing. got a, a more classic cocktail. Classic, yeah. Old fashioned, uh, pretty simple. Sugar, bitters, and in this case I used bulk bourbon. And um, garnished with an orange peel. That's it. Keeping it classy, keeping it simple. Keeping it simple, but all, we're all bourbon all the time. All bourbon all the time, for the most part. Yeah, I'm actually really into tequila, but this is like one of my go-to. You can do both. I can. That was Matt's big thing. Yeah, he was a, a major tequila connoisseur before the band took off. Where do you guys like to go out for cocktails? And there's this bar called Miles, it's in Bushwick. They make incredible cocktails. Um, and they kind of stay true to like earthy elements. So you get a cocktail with, you know, that has like rosemary and like all these different like uh, herbs and stuff, it's incredible. My favorite spot for cocktails right now is called Sunshine & Co. Really amazing. The food's incredible, and their cocktails are on point. And now your fans are just going to be like camping outside. They're going to yeah. Now they know where we. Waiting. Yeah. Now, now they know the neighborhood that we live in. <laughs> Sorry. Well, okay. thank you so much for sharing all of your food and drink knowledge. Really appreciate it. Do I belong?